to the Yankees ousted Cleveland. Stephen A., did Joe Girardi save his job with this win? Well, first of all, he did, but secondly, he never should have been in a position where that should even be a question because Joe Girardi should have never been on the chopping block, per se. Nobody should have ever been talking about him, considering what this man has had to maneuver through throughout his years as manager of the New York Yankees, mixing young with the old, handling veterans, the exodus of Derek Jeter, and ultimately, at times, at least Max could speak to that, how there was some trepidation as it pertained to that. The list goes on and on. Girardi has proven to be a quiet quality manager, a very a damn good manager in Major League Baseball. I love him personally. I always thought that he was the quintessential successor, uh, you know, to Joe Torre, and he's proven just that. But last night, it wasn't about Girardi at all. It was about Gregorius making us all say, Jeter who? Considering those two home runs uh, that he knocked off Gluber last night, we had to take him to account. The 12th pitch at bat by Brett Gardner in the ninth, which was absolutely fabulous. That was a sensation at bat on his part. CC Sabathia, 37 years old, under pressure, coming in and handling his business, not just the first time, but for the second time in this series, outdueling Gluber along the way. Robertson coming in to help him by getting some outs. And of course, Araldis Chapman, who couldn't get it done against these same Cleveland Indians in Game 7 of the World Series last year. Even though the Cubs ended up winning, he handled his business with six outs last night. It was a collective effort. As far as I'm concerned, everybody stepped up, but especially the old dudes, the young dudes, Sanchez, Judge, you know, and those guys didn't get it done. But that's okay because the old dudes showed up and handled their business. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in New York City. Start spreading the news. And Houston, here we come. The Sinatra version. The city of Cleveland has just shut their TVs off. Yeah, look, Girardi was choked with emotion at the post-game presser because he said... The team picked him up. It was the worst experience he had in his life in baseball because he knew that he blew it. And the, the, the tough part about that for a guy like Girardi after game two when he didn't challenge using replay, which would have been the third out of the inning instead of a grand slam being hit and then the Yankees going on to lose. They're down 0-2 to the best team in baseball, you know, in a five-game series. Of course they're going to lose that series, right? The worst part about it is the way a manager like Girardi picks up other guys on the team, since he's not a player, he can't do it in the field anymore, is no, no, we win and lose as a team. So how does he deal with the fact that if you win and lose as a team, you can't then just put yourself out there and say, it's all my fault, because that goes against what you preach. And yet he did feel it was his fault. And by the way, it was his fault, game two. So the team absolutely picked the manager up here. And the idea that there's some, that, that people would mock you know, that some mystical kind of chemistry that exists on teams. What do you mean pick the manager up? They're always trying to win. Yes, but some teams are pulling together more than others. It's the reason that you see teams that come up through a farm system overperform their expected results based on their numbers compared to, the, to a similarly kind of construct, a, a, a value team put together through free agency. In other words, a bunch of high-priced free agents are brought together, and they're just as good as this other team whose, whose team came up through the farm system. The free agents tend to underperform compared to the farm system guys because they're all pulling together. They have that kind of camaraderie. They absolutely pick Girardi up. And, Stephen A., you brought up the Brett Gardner at bat. What about the Todd Frazier at bat? The, both of them, in the, it, when, when they're, they have a, a one-run lead, Chapman's velocity was down. The Indians give you the sense all year that they're the miracle kids, right? The cardiac kids, not just the Yankees. They, yeah. they give you the sense they're always going to win. Frazier grinds out in that bat, saw a million pitches, drew Good a point. walk, then Gardner. I thought I was watching Paul O'Neill and Bernie Williams. These guys. Yeah, that's, that good was, man, that's a good analogy. That's, Mac, right. that's a damn good analogy. These guys damn give you that one. feeling, yeah, absolutely. don't they? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go that far, but it looked like that last night. I will say last night, but uh, a couple of few other times during the series, no, I'm not going to go there. You understand? Because there's a level of consistency that the Bernie Williams, the Paul O'Neills of the world gave you that I have yet to see from these guys. But last night, you're right. I did have that feeling.